KOCEDT Digital Television. On this episode of Lassie's Pet Vet, we'll meet a modern day saint and the children whose lives he's changed. Don't stop! A big dog with an even bigger heart. If I didn't have that bulldog, I don't know what I would have done. And small dogs with big egos. Are you guys ready to go? Are you ready to be big winners? You'll see some loving exhibition. We lose our inhibitions and find our lost pets. Noodles! All this and more on another heartwarming episode of Lassie's Pet Vet. This is Lassie, the world's best known dog. And I'm Dr. Jeff Werber, her personal veterinarian. Welcome to Lassie's Pet Vet. The bond I have with my own pets and my four-legged patients has been a real source of love and satisfaction. Lassie's Pet Vet is about that bond, how to strengthen it and be the best pet parents we can be. I'm constantly learning new ways animals enrich our lives, but sometimes I stumble across one that takes my breath away. You're about to meet some amazing people who, with the help of some very special animals, completely change the lives of children and their parents. Watch this. It's easy to appreciate the strength and beauty of a horse, but for children with disabilities, a horse's value goes even deeper. Here at the Institute of Equestrian Therapy in Simi Valley, California, children with physical and mental disabilities grow by leaps and bounds simply by riding horses. My daughter's name is Ariana. Ariana has Rett syndrome, which is a neurological problem. And they told us she would never walk. So we started equestrian therapy and at three she was walking. A horse takes about a thousand steps in 15 minutes with each step the child has to adjust his balance. And in order to adjust his balance, he uses his thigh muscles and his knee muscles and his torso muscles. And with each step, he has to continue adjusting. And that's what helps them to actually develop physically. It's a huge self-esteem boost for some of these kids. They're telling the horse where to go and what to do. For the first time, they are actually in control of something rather than something being in control of them. But these horses' ability to rehabilitate might never have been discovered were it not for a lucky accident more than 45 years ago in France. Lean back a little bit. It was in 1961. I was teaching horseback riding. A mother came to see, to see me and asked me if I could give a little ride to her kid. She said, my son is blind. The kid was looking so happy to be on the horse. He did very good. I was surprised. The mother, she jumped on me, take me by the neck and kiss me. Three days after, I had two other blind, I had a deaf and mute. Ooh, mamma mia. Here we go. Don't stop. Before long, Jacques saw that riding horses could benefit children with other disabilities as well. When you put a child on the horse, you elevate him. He can go to places he never saw. It turned out that even kids with severe physical disabilities could ride. In Katrina's case, riding was physically transformative. Katrina, she has cerebral palsy and uh, she has it from birth. When Katrina was three, she didn't walk at all. She certainly uh, couldn't sit. If you don't catch her, she would fall off a chair. When uh, she started riding, we were walking on, on, on both sides and somebody was leading uh, the horse. When uh, she was nine or 10, she could get on, on the trail on her own and she, she could decide where she wanted to go. Katrina, she does things that only, uh, you, you know, your experienced rider can do. Katrina is walking now because of horse, horseback riding.
As a child with high-functioning autism, Elliot often has trouble communicating his thoughts. Jacques and his equestrian ring have not only drawn him out of doors, they've coaxed him out of his shell. When Elliot first came to Jacques, he was uncomfortable, nervous, in a complete withdrawn state. But after three, four weeks, he's walking around, playing with other kids, um, socializing. Equestrian therapy has been incredible for Elliot. If you want to talk to a horse, you use the reins to communicate with them. But sometimes they can act in a mood. This morning, I felt frustrated. It's okay if you feel frustrated, but you always gotta persevere. And you never give up. Very good, very good. Katrina, she's fabulous. And without horses, I don't think she would have been that far. She had the brain, but the brain is in a shell that we had to make stronger. Yes, yeah, that's good. <laughs> With Katrina, that's my most important experience in my life, having a handicapped child, you know. I'm the proudest of, of that. She is socializing and uh, knowing other people and, and, and making friendships. Jacques is our family saint. We became very close friends. I get attached to those kids. Parents, you know, they like me. We are older, I kiss everybody, I'm part of the family. I love what I'm doing. That has fulfilled my life. <laughs>